we've always done small projects out in the community because there's a lot we can do that doesn't necessarily cost an awful lot of money but it can have a huge difference to the community. Volunteering is, is really embedded in the council at all levels. I want everybody to get involved because it's a, an excellent opportunity to get to know the community, to give something back to the people who live in Bath and North East Somerset. We could pair up, couldn't we? It's quite a sort of, well, we've got an even number of people. We always try and look for something that's a bit different, a chance to be outside of the office together. The biggest challenge we face is trying to find diverse opportunities and something that's a bit different that people will sign up to year on year. And I think we have definitely done that this year. The community challenges are really a great opportunity for people to get to know parts of the area, to get to know the projects, to get to meet some of the people who are working in the area and, and get to try out new things. Things which, some of which relate to their work, some of which won't. But you know, over time we found that people have really benefited um, building relationships and building confidence through the um, events we take part in. Well, we're the People and Communities Finance Team from the Bath and Office Somerset Council. That's our job, but this is far more entertaining, much better than counting numbers. Because we're a law firm, it's important for us to get involved with the local, uh, local community and give back. This was something that has been offered to staff that we can have two days to be able to come and do some charity work. And this is my husband, and I signed him up as well. It makes a big difference, and for the parents as well, it seems safer if it's looked after. It just seems yeah, it's a nicer environment to be in. We work at the University of Bath in the Students' Union. You know, students very much kind of want to feel part of the community. They don't just move to Bath to come to university, they come to be part of the community and to actually live in a beautiful city. So, you know, we have lots of students that do lots of different projects that kind of really give back to, to the community as well. Sorry. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> By allowing any of our colleagues to go out and about, it really gives them a bit of perspective as to what's happening out in the Bath and North East Somerset area. Also puts them in touch with amazing projects. You find that even with that, that will sit on, on the top. So you, can, you have to be able to get the lid on. I'm actually quite amazed because I didn't realise there would be this many kind of, um, you know, handy things like wire and you know, dressmaking stuff. It's really, really good. I thought it was just going to be kind of water purification and that was it. All the small stuff at the bottom fill up all the spaces, I think. I think to have a group like this um, is an added benefit for us because I think they will absorb it, they'll do the work, but also they'll go away thinking, oh, so that's one of the things that Rotary does. And the enthusiasm, they get on with it, you see. We're a fairly new team together. It's been an opportunity for us all to come on mass to, to work together, so that's been uh, really great and also j just knowing how that's going to benefit other people around the world and and it's it's not just a local initiative as such it, it, it's that wider sphere and influence that, that it'll have. With regards to Cleveland Pools, we managed to get all our exec team out for the day. You know, they worked really hard and it was a really physical challenge. Well, we spent the last hour clearing all of the, um, the overgrowth and um, stones and soil from inside what was the children's pool. We were allowed to bring quite a few of us, so we could bring the team. So um, we could do something as a team, uh, which was really good. I've loved it because I've never been here. Yet to see a wonderful part of Bath that's a bit hidden. We are looking for buried treasure. <laughs> and these definitely aren't Georgian. You can see the ends of these bottles. This is where I used to swim and live as a child. So it means a lot to me to see it, um, well, maybe get back to how it was all those years ago. Over the last couple of weeks, people have spoken about a challenge they face, and someone said, well, actually, I can help you there. 
So I think you know, it's just the, the breadth of what we, we are able to achieve over, over a couple of weeks is immense. And people pine for a time when people used to get together and work for their community and actually people do it all the time. Um, and to celebrate that over a two week period is really special I think. Do you